Wow. Wow. What a game. All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to my channel. Wow. Okay, oh, that's all I can say about this game. Aston Villa 3, Leeds United 3. It has just ended at Villa Park as we speak. And what a game. What a game for the neutral. What a game for Villa fans. What a game for Leeds United fans. As a Leeds fan myself, I'm happy with the point. We probably could have got three points tonight, but Villa may be thinking the same. But yeah, before we get into all the analyze and all that good stuff, I've missed you guys. Can you smash a like and also subscribe? Let's try and smash 100 likes on this video. And also subscribe if you're new. We're very close to 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 of you watching the Ollie Ward channel. And obviously comment your thoughts on the game, I want to know in the description, or not in the description, yeah, in the comments down below what you guys are saying about this game. So, Aston Villa 3, Leeds United 3. Good point on the road. I mean, you could definitely say that I was not very um, optimistic going into this game, if I'm completely honest. But, uh, you know what? Tonight, it gave me a bit of hope. The game started, okay? The game started, we, we started on the front foot. Um, I thought like the first few minutes we looked well, passing the ball around nicely. But it was, but it was a good energy to the game, like a basketball game. It, it was well, like it always is for a Legion United game. Bonkers start, and then Villa got a bit into it. They started dominating the ball quite a lot, and then out of nowhere, Dan James picks up a ball, uh, a nice pass in from Rodrigo. Dan James sticks it in the bottom corner. I'm, I'm thinking this is fantastic. And can I say, Daniel James had a fantastic game of football today. He has turned into a fantastic player. Got two goals for himself today. So after we go, we go 1 0 up. Um, we're thinking, good, life's good. I still think we're dominant. We're looking okay. They're knocking on the door. And then they do get the uh, the equaliser to make it 1 1. A lovely little sort of similar goal from Coutinho, who, Felipe Coutinho tonight was unplayable. The fact that he didn't get man of the match. Fair play to Jacob Ramsey. He was fantastic as well for Villa. But the fact that Coutinho didn't get man of the match was, uh, it was, I, I don't know. I don't know how he didn't. He was fantastic tonight. Lovely little turn, lovely little finish. And then Villa were quite dominant, very dominant, getting uh, a hold of the ball, the trickery. There was a lot of nutmegs tonight. I couldn't keep count from both sides. Um, but yeah, then what happened next? They go 2 1 up. It is from uh, a lovely ball from Coutinho, by the way. He puts it through. He just turns Aylin. And then he puts a nice little ball through to Jacob Ramsey. And Jacob Ramsey, from despite Click's best efforts, put it past uh, Melier. And then they get the third goal as well. A bit of loss of possession from Rafinha. We'll get into Rafinha tonight. Wasn't his self tonight at all, in my personal opinion. But yeah, he gives away the ball. They play the advantage. Good advantage from referee, but from a, a Villa's point, in fairness, they play a nice ball. Um, Jacob Ramsey is in acres of space. No one's marking him over there. And he puts it into the top corner. Uh, we're thinking Leeds going 3-1 down at half time, and I'm not happy at all. But then a little stroke of luck, a little bit of good football from Leeds, passing the ball into nice pockets of space. Click picks it up, puts a lovely little back heel to Rodrigo. Rodrigo crosses it in, and Dan James headers it, past like Konza, Buendia, Mings. Like, he beats everyone in the air. The bloke's three foot four, and he's won another header, and Dan James gets a brace, and it's half time. It's 3 2. And I wasn't thinking too much of the second half that we're going to keep up with that. I knew there was going to be more goals. But yeah, going 3 2. If it went in 3 1, it would have been a lot different. To how I felt at halftime, um, I think you'll probably all agree. You probably would have been like, oh, God, this game's over. They're going to go get more. But the fact we got that second goal and Dan James gets a brace and the way Dan James played today, I thought Dan James, Harrison and Rodrigo were fantastic today. I thought Rafinha was... Uh, I, I think he... I, I know what he's doing, which I like from Rafinha. He's getting a bit of transfer interest. Liverpool buying a talking, and he's gone, I'm going to put a stinker here so he can stay at the club. That's exactly what he's done. And um, yeah, so the second half starts, leads a 3-2 down, but the fight is still there. And from... The minute the second half kicked off, I thought Leeds were dominant. I did. I thought Leeds were very, very dominant. We had a good few chances from corners, like a couple of shots here and there, creating good chances. And then it broke through. Leeds, like Ming's done some heroic defending to clear it off the line. Then they got another corner, whipped in, and Ming's kind of made a mistake. And Lorente smashed it in like he was a strike. It was a lovely finish. The game is 3-3. Then it's just a bit end-to-end. -end. You can tell the players are fatiguing. A lot of uh, players went down with cramp tonight. A lot of players just holding their legs, you know. It got a bit feisty. There was tackles flying in. It was a fantastic game of Premier League football. What an advert for Premier League football. Then Concert gets sent off. He had a yellow, and then he kind of elbowed Melier. He didn't really elbow him, but he stopped Melier breaking. He got sent off, who, and then um, for the last, like, five minutes uh, before the added time, Leeds did have... Um, an advantage with 11 men, Villa only having 10, obviously. Then eight minutes got added on. 
there was just a lot of going down. Leeds didn't really have a lot of chances. Rafinha gave it away and then gave away a free kick. Rafinha was just a bit meh tonight, if I'm completely honest. And there's still a lot of defensive is- uh, issues in the side, if I'm completely honest. I thought Melier tonight was okay, I think. He's getting a bit beaten a bit too easily for me, but that is quite harsh to be sitting here watching him and saying that. Um, Ailing was... I mean, everyone was good. Okay, we got a good point. Everyone was fantastic. We could have got three. But there's just areas that definitely need improving. Uh, I thought Pascal Strzok was fantastic tonight. Dallas was fantastic tonight. I thought everyone was very solid tonight. Koch, I do like him in that CDM. I didn't at the start of his Legion United career, but he's kind of made that his own since Phillips has been out injured and fair play to him. Um, yeah, there was a bit of a, a talking point with Dan James. I don't know if Dan James was saying to Bielsa, no, I'm fine. I don't know if Bielsa was like, I thought Dan James was injured, so let's bring him off for Roberts. But it was kind of like a, we only get to see Dan James's view on it. All we, got, all we saw was the camera on him. Kind of looking over at Bielsa saying, no, I'm fine. And Roberts puts his, uh, puts his bib back on, which... Thank fuck, really. Uh, but <laughs> but no, it was a very fantastic game for the neutral. Fair play to uh, Aston Villa. I know a lot of you might want to come on here and slag Aston Villa off. I think it was just a fantastic game of football and a very good point on the board. But it's annoying that it maybe could have been three. But there we are. We move on to Saturday against Everton. But if we play like that, you know what? We've got Everton. We have them. We have them. I know they've got Lampard and Lampard knows how Bielsa plays and all that good stuff. It'll be a fantastic game. But tonight... I went into it not optimistic at all. And you know what? I've been shocked. Uh, not shocked. I've been surprised. I've been pleasantly surprised uh, how well Leeds United played tonight. Um, Dan James, like I keep saying, was fantastic. Harrison looked good on the ball. Rodrigo tonight. I, I really think I had a phone call with my father at half time and he wasn't happy with Rodrigo. And I was like, I don't know what you're watching because I think he's creating chances to little flicks. He doesn't necessarily have his shooting boots on. But that's fine because he's creating chances. Rafinha's still in Brazil. He's still got his headspace on the plane. He's, he's jet lagged. Uh, but everyone else in the team was fantastic. Big shout out to Click as well. Thought he was very good. Forshaw came on. Didn't have to do much. Just kind of shut up shop. Um, but I'm kind of kind of happy maybe Bielsa didn't make loads of subs. That would have ruined the flow of the game. Maybe you could have seen Joe Geldhart come on. But as you saw, Dan James didn't want to come off. He wanted more goals. He wanted his hat trick. And uh, I think he did deserve it. Obviously, Coutinho, Jacob Ramsey, a few Villa players there uh, deserve credit as well. But yeah, what a fantastic game for the neutral four. Villa fans, for Leeds fans, obviously both teams maybe think they could have taken away three points, but they'll uh, have to go get that Saturday where Villa play Newcastle and we play Everton. So there's going to be two good games there as well. I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm quite chuffed with that performance, if I'm completely honest. Good performance, good point. Maybe could have been three. But yeah, Villa still haven't beaten Marcelo Bielsa's Leeds United side. All right, write that one down. Eh? So they've never beaten a Leeds United side, but obviously we do have to play them again. This was our um, our game that should have been played on the 28th of December. But yeah, we've now got tough fixtures. I'm, I'm happy with a point against Villa. Let's go and get three against Everton on Saturday. It's going to be a good game. Guys, what is your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys in the comments down below. Just your thoughts on the game. I want to know, was it a good point? Things or like, what, what's your actual thoughts? I think everyone is quite positive about this performance. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Obviously smash 100 likes on this video if we could. That would be fantastic. And subscribe if you're new. It really does help out the channel. And we're getting close to 5,000 subscribers. Without further ado, it has ended at Villa Park. Uh, Aston Villa 3, Leeds United 3. And without further ado, I've been Ollie Ward. And I'll catch you soon. <laughs> See you in the next one.